Greetings folks. Welcome back to the Tractor Fella Show. Most of you have probably seen this bed laying on the ground in my garage for absolutely no reason for the entirety of my YouTube career, which has been very short. What we're going to do today is try to mutilate this back together using a welder. And let's be honest, I'm not entirely sure that I want to even record this. Because for one reason, A, I don't really know how to MIG weld. Two, the MIG welder I have is going to be using flux core for, this is cast iron, and J, I've never used the welder before. So sit back, get excited to see how poorly this is going to go. The examination. We already have a hole in this material. We've got a big old blob of weld right here. I think what I'm going to do first is get as much paint off of there as I can. Sort of prep the surface. All right, filing. Went pretty well. Surface cleaned up. Whoop. Well, I gotta take care of that still. Do I need more prep? Do I need to remove more paint? I don't really know. We'll find out when I get a bunch of contaminants in the weld. Surface is prep dish. Let's make some sparks. And our welder of choice. Never been used. I literally bought this a year ago with hopes to fix a uh, canopy that goes over my goes over my tractor and then it just sat. Kind of funny how that works. I bundled up everything inside of here so that when I was ready to use it, we could get ready to use it. You'll have to excuse my other project. Those of you that tune into the channel, you'll see that sometime soon or maybe you'll see that before you see this. I do not know. What I do know is we are doing a flux core, which is going to be electrode negative. We're gonna do a couple things and I'll bring you back. All right, making some progress. Got my wire in there, running it through the uh, 0.035 inch die. And then we have this set to, they said one to three, I put it on two. Got my gun plugged in, electrode is negative, ground is positive, and we have wire movement. Got the Lincoln Electric welder's hat, helmet, whatever you want to call it. I haven't even taken the plastic off. One day I was just like, hey guys, I want to be a welder. And then I used a bunch of gift certificates to Home Depot. And, uh, oh good, let's just pop the lens right out. And uh, bought a bunch of stuff. I don't have 220, I don't have enough stuff to weld for me to justify getting a bigger welder. Maybe someday, but for now, I'm going to stick with what I have. All right, what else do we have? We've got our Lincoln Electric gloves. We've got our Lincoln Electric hammer. Ooh, with a protective rubber tip. You never know when you need that. Extra lenses for my Lincoln Electric auto darkening helmet. Got my Lincoln Electric made in China. Wow, that was loud. Made in China welding pliers. Old golf hat to protect the back of my head and my neck. Lincoln Electric extra tips. So this welder was advertised pretty much as a flux core welder, which it is, but it also will do MIG welding with gas. What else? Ooh, the Lincoln Electric welding brush. I think that's about it. As far as speed and load, according to this chart here, okay, DC negative inner shield flux core arc welding. I said this metal's pretty thin, so I went with a little over one and a half and letter A for our uh, power. So, oh, there's our scaling right there. That's pretty cool. Finally got that figured out. <clears throat> Let's test out our helmet. Oh yeah, nice and dark. Sweet. From my small amount of welding research, sounds like heating cast iron beforehand is a good idea. Yep, yep, definitely a good idea. that stand very quickly. Ah, I made a weld. I made a weld.
little hot. All right, it's ugly, but it's there. Obviously, flux core is dirty, but I'm not too upset about it. I like that. It's stuck together. I'm good with it. This side's pretty ugly. Uh, I burned a hole through it down here, and then I spent the next five minutes trying to figure out how to rebuild it. Is it rebuilt? We'll call it that. What, what does Puddin say on his show? A grinder and paint make you the welder you ain't. Well. That was fun, sort of, kind of scary. <laughs> First time doing a welding project uh, on a welder I've never used before, on material I probably shouldn't be welding, with wire I probably shouldn't be using, in a temperature area that it probably shouldn't be exposed to. But, you know what, I think it worked out okay. Round two, fight. Well, here we have it, second time. Still a little bit of bubble gum in there. I'm just happy that I'm making things stick together. Here's the other side. I had it pretty much licked down here at the bottom, and then I decided, oh, I wanna fill in a little bit there, but uh, yeah, it just made a, a tumor. Check it out, my best one yet. I'm feeling pretty good about that. It's amazing how excited I am over just a little tack, but gotta start somewhere, right? Well. Now that I have all the tools out, <laughs> just wanted to make a quick video on doing some welding. I'm pretty impressed with the little guy here. It works very well. I'm happy with my purchase. Uh, it seems to have more than enough power, which I found quickly by blowing holes in the, the nice little curly metal pieces there. But uh, I was able to repair them through some persistence. Hopefully we can do this again with some welding. I have, like I said, a canopy that goes on my tractor and I'd like to weld that back together because I may or may not have caught it on the ground support cable for a power line and ripped the top off. So, yeah, never, uh, never going to do that one again. Well, they survived the night and some paint. The missus is happy with the outcome. It's not perfect, but neither is the rest of the frame. So we're going to roll with it. And honestly, nobody's really going to see any of that anyway. So, all right, once again... Thanks for hanging out with me, and we will see you next time.